What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So if you have not already done so and you haven't already heard, I am starting a new platform called getthatcuniversity.com. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go on over to getthatcuniversity.com because it is for pre-PAs and PA students to help pre-PAs get into PA school and PA students get through PA school. So I wanted to talk to you guys today more specifically about really just kind of giving you some encouragement. I've been getting a lot of emails and I try to get to them as quickly as I can, but I can't always do that. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Now in my emails, I typically get questions like, hey, what's the right GPA for PA school? Or what is the right uh, GRE score? Or what is the right major? I get that one a lot. I get asked that question a lot. And I've given you guys answers. I've made videos on it. And that's kind of where my pre-PA like consultation sessions typically come in because I get to sit down with you guys and do this one-on-one -on -one and really look at your particular snapshot um, to see where you're at with respect to your pre-PA and PA school journey. But I, sometimes that's kind of like difficult, right? Sometimes it's I guess disheartening because maybe you've applied before and you're a reapplicant or you know you don't have the GPA that you want but you still want to apply because hey you never know and it's true and that's really what I wanted to address in this video just give you guys some encouragement because you guys it just takes one it literally just takes one it takes one application sent off and accepted it takes one interview offered and it takes one actual acceptance to PA school for you to begin your journey through PA school into becoming a PAC. And so with that being said, it may take maybe 15 schools that you're sending out these applications for to get to that one, but that's really what you need to be focusing on. So with all of these questions that you all are asking me and all of the research that you're doing, that's great because it shows that you're hungry. You're, you're hungry for the knowledge. You want to actually get this information. That's why you subscribe to Adana the PA and you go to get that to university because you want the help. But at the same time, you still need to keep in mind that don't let all of the outside noise or maybe some rejections just kind of like dishearten you or discourage you to your end goal. Keep that focus, keep persevering, keep planning. I say this all the time, the plans of the diligent lead to prosperity. As surely as hate leads to, what is it? Destruction, what is it, Anthony? <laughs> well, I messed it up. What is that? What did you say? The plans of vision lead, lead to prosperity. Lead to prosperity. Surely, as hate leads to poverty. Poverty. Is it poverty? It's poverty. Okay. So I say this all the time. The plans of the diligent lead to prosperity, as surely as hate leads to poverty. Is that is I, that don't sound right, babe? How does hate lead to poverty? No, it's not hate, but as hate leads to poverty. Prosper What's the opposite of prosperity? Of uh, poverty. I don't know if that's it, but. So I always say this, you guys, the plans. <laughs> stop, stop. Proverbs 21, 5. Look it up, look it up. I, I looked it up in my head. Proverbs 21, 5. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm not even going to say the whole thing. So I always say this, you guys, the plans of the diligent lead to prosperity. Therefore, if you're trying to prosper in this journey to PA school, it is important. It is imperative for you guys to plan diligently. So I want to encourage you to keep planning, keep prospering, keep persevering, and you will definitely be able to accomplish your goal of becoming a PA and getting that C. I hope this was helpful to those of you that needed it. Uh, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, edit on the PA, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to check out Get That C University at getthatcuniversity.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. I will talk to you guys next time.